Good morning, guys. I am Mishi, and this is Mixed Kids. But first, let me tell you who we are. We are a mix of people coming together to change lives and change the world. We want to give you guys fun and exciting ways to know God so that you can tell others about God's love. I am so happy to be here with you this week. Last week, we talked about how Jonah got swallowed up by a big fish because he was not obedient to God. Today is Mother's Day. Don't forget to say Happy Mother's Day to those special ladies in your life. You have to say thanks for being so incredible, Mom. great day to talk about a mother's obedience to God. One of the things that I love about God's word and the Bible is that God gives us stories to read about real people who made really good choices as well as some people who didn't make so good choices. God wants us to listen, read, and learn from these stories to become more like him. When we listen to directions and follow God's teaching, that's called obedience. Today in our scripture reading, we are going to discuss a mother who gave up everything she had to follow the directions of a godly man. Because she did this and trusted God, she was able to take care of her sons and have more than enough. Enough vegetables, enough oil, enough bread, enough everything. During biblical times, people needed olive oil to make almost everything they ate. They used it in their lamps for light. Therefore, it was always important to have enough oil available for daily needs. In addition, most of the women did not have regular paying jobs to help with their family's income. When a poor married woman became a widow, a widow is someone whose husband has passed away, it is very difficult for her to support her family. Take a look at her story. The message for today's story is God's people care for one another. Has your family ever asked to borrow something from a neighbor? Maybe some flour or sugar or perhaps a garden tool? A poor widow once borrowed some unusual things from her neighbors. The poor widow came to Elisha with tear stains on her face. My husband was a good man who loved the Lord, but now he is dead, she said. The man my husband owed money to says if I don't pay him, he will take away my two sons to be his slaves. How can I help you, Elisha asked gently. Tell me, what do you have in your house? Nothing, the widow answered. I have nothing except for a little oil. Elisha thought about her need. Go to all your friends and neighbors, he said, and borrow as many jars as you can. Then go home and shut the door. Pour the oil from your jar into all the empty borrowed jars. So the widow and her sons filled their house with their neighbor's empty jars. Then the woman shut the door, and she began to pour oil from her jar into the first borrowed jar. The oil kept flowing, and soon that first jar was full. And she poured into the next jar, and she poured into the jar after that. And she kept going and going, and soon she lost count. She just kept pouring until all the jars were full. Bring me another jar, she said. There aren't any more jars, mother, her boys exclaimed. You filled them all. The woman's eyes sparkled. She hurried out of the house and ran to find Elisha. I did exactly what you said. I borrowed as many empty jars as I could, and now they're all filled with oil, and I still have oil in my jar. Elisha smiled. 
Go and sell the oil, he said. Pay back what your husband owed, and you will have money left over for you and your sons to live on. The widow woman praised the Lord for the miracle of the oil. She thanked God for taking care of her, and she thanked him for Elisha and her neighbors. That day, the widow and her sons learned that they could trust the Lord to take care of them. We can trust God to send the right people to take care of us, too. Boys and girls, God wants us to be good neighbors as well. How can you be a good neighbor, and how can you help others today? The widow's sons were probably very scared that their mother did not have the money or supplies she needed to take care of their family. So when Elisha, Elisha tells the mother to send the boys out to collect jars and dump out the only thing left in their house, the important oil used for many things, it is very hard to understand why the widow would obey Elisha. The oil was the only valuable thing that they had left. The widow was probably desperate to have the little oil that she had. The widow's son trusted their mother and followed her directions. The widow obeyed God's instructions. As a result of her obedience, he performed a miracle to provide the widow with all she needed and more. As kids, sometimes it's hard to follow your parents' instructions because we do not understand their purpose or we think we know better. God's Word tells us we should honor the teachings of our parents and remember the things our parents do and teach us. Above all, we should follow their instructions. When we do, our wisdom will grow and grow. God sees obedience toward our parents is honoring Him, just as our Bible verse states for today. Help me say it together. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land your Lord, your God is giving you. Exodus 20 and 12. Thanks so much for helping with the memory verse. Before we go, let's sing and dance to One Way by Hillsong Kids.
back. Did you guys get pictures or videos of your worship to God? We would love to see. Have your parents send those pictures and videos to our Instagram page at the mix underscore church. Becoming a part of God's family is a great decision to make. So if you need help understanding how to become a part of God's family, have your parents send us an email at mixkids at the mixchurch.com. Now let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Help me to be obedient to the adults in my life because when I obey them, I'm honoring you. We love you. In Jesus name we pray, amen. <laughs> awesome job, everybody. Don't forget, it's Mother's Day. Honor your mothers. Pick some flowers out of the garden. Take some crayons and some markers and draw her a piece of paper. Uh, take a piece of paper and draw her something nice on it. Some flowers, a picture of her. Do the dishes. Clean your room. Make your mom breakfast in bed. But do something for your mom today. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms that are out there watching. We love you and we are.